So here's another one where we're going to have some mechanistic moves we need to label. We're going to have to label the nucleophile and electrophile in the first step, and we might need to add some water molecules along the way to make this happen. So let's go ahead and, and identify the nucleophile and the electrophile in that first step. So which one is the electrophile? Let's see, electrophile is the one that is that likes, uh, that wants electrons. And so it looks like I have a H3O plus, a positively charged thing, and that ultimately will donate a proton to that oxygen. So the positively charged thing is going to be my electrophile. What's the nucleophile? What's the negatively charged thing? Well, it's the oxygen uh, that has a double bond. Okay, so let's do that. So let's add curved arrows now to talk about the flow of electrons. Well, we said before that this oxygen is gonna have to come out to grab this hydrogen, which means that the bond that the hydrogen had to the oxygen must retreat back to the oxygen to form a lone pair. And that will lead water to come off. And so what is this? This is a proton transfer. Okay, this one already had a double-headed arrow and double-headed arrows represent resonance. And so here's the resonance that's happening here so that the positive charge on the oxygen can be delocalized to the carbon. And so what's going on in this next step? We've got one, two, three bonds on that carbon. The carbon that is connected to the oxygen has one methyl group attached to it. Now the carbon attached to the oxygen has two methyl groups. It looks like there was an alkyl shift. And so an alkyl group shifted over to the carbon. And so this is a carbocation rearrangement. What else is happening? The next step, uh, it looks like I have a so this is all the same here. It looks like this carbon with the two methyl groups now has a water attached to it. So it did say that I'll need to add water when necessary because there is water in the reaction. So let's go ahead and add that water there because we know that it's in the solution. And so it looks like the water is undergoing a nucleophilic attack of the cation. What about the next step? That's what gets us here. And what do we have in the next step? We, it looks like this is all the same here. What's the difference there? It looks like the difference is, is that water that we just added lost a proton. And so again, this is another situation when I'll have to have a water that's around in the solution. And it's gonna come along and pull a proton off that OH, that water molecule. This is also a proton transfer. And so those are the steps we need to get from reactant to product. We've labeled all the mechanistic steps and we've identified electrophile and nucleophile. Okay, we're there.